All right, guys, got another one here, and this is going to showcase another concern. As you're looking at Patrick Mahomes, they're showcasing his X Factor ability or superstar ability. I can't remember exactly which one this is, but it's the bazooka where he's able to throw the ball up to 80 yards and he'll be the only one that can do it. And guys, I understand that, you know, I understand Patrick Mahomes, you know, is recorded being able to throw the ball 83 yards or what have you. And as long as it's not, you know, groundbreaking and game breaking, it is what it is. He's the only one that can do it, whatever, for the most part. But here's my concern. Okay, you just saw a piece of it right there on the right side. And I'm going to let this video play a couple times in slow motion just so you guys, you know, can keep an eye on certain things, you know, as I'm talking. When we get back to where we look at that interaction again with the front end, it looks like there's an animation warp or animation pop or what have you. You know, they talked about blocking animations, you know, the interactions would be more smooth, you know, guys transitioning in and out. But look at this guy here on the right side of the offense here, number 97, right? You're going to see him. He's going to re-engage back with that tackle. But if you look on the left side, you know, that inter interaction and animation is a little more, it's, it's a little smoother. It's still not perfect, but it's a little more seamless. So I can kind of live with that. But also, you know, as we're waiting for it to get back to that footage again, my biggest issue, man, is I'm seeing some things that I don't like on the line. And also we're going to talk about Derwin James here. And I'm reluctant to talk about Derwin James not reacting because again, it's on arcade. However, I will say that's something that we all need to keep our eyes on because we know how safeties react in the middle of the field. I wouldn't expect Derwin James to react this bad, you know, with him being an X factor, as you can see, I want these safeties to be able to rotate to where their nearest threat is going to be. It's only one route. Okay. But again, I can't properly judge it because it's on arcade. <laughs> There's no defense on arcade. But again, what I was talking about, man, on the front end, I don't like the fact that it still seems like the D linemen are more worrying about their interaction more so than chasing and finding the ball. You know, defenders need to always have their head on a swivel. They need to be looking at the quarterback or whoever else they're trying to get to to know where they need to be. As you're going to see it here one last time, it just seems like they're more worried about their engagement you know, you see both tackles are pretty much going to do the same interaction here and same animation. Don't necessarily like that. But look at how these guys, even when they regather themselves, look, they, they're basically put back into that block animation. So you got some suction blocking going on. But why are they not looking for the quarterback? Again, if you watch football, defenders always know where to try to get to because they're watching the ball. They know which way to block shed. They know which way, you know, how to try to converge or collapse the pocket based on where the quarterback is. And again, I'm seeing in this particular scenario, like I said, it's on arcade, so I don't know. But, you know, recent history in the past will let me believe that these guys still are not really worrying about their environment as much as they're worrying about the guy right in front of them. All right, so hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you think. Catch you in the next one. Peace.